And let me gauge how optimistic you are that you're going <coughs> to uh, see tax reform unfold on that timetable. What's your sense of when things are going to happen? Uh, I think you are looking at a bill written and presented to the American people uh, in September uh, and that within a month or so you'll have that pass both the House and the Senate and get signed. The reason why this is easier to do than health care or most other pieces of legislation is there aren't as many moving parts. Uh, I thank the Democrats for setting the conditions under which they'd uh, agree to talk to people, but they've written themselves out of this conversation. So we won't be wasting any time talking to Democrats about why we should raise taxes because Republicans are committed to cutting taxes. You see agreement between the House, Senate, and the White House on somewhere between 15 and 20 percent uh, business tax rate, both for corporations and for pass throughs or subchapter uh, S corporations, partnerships, and so on. Both of those towards 15 to 20, there'll be a debate on what you can fit in. You talked about expensing. I think it's a great idea to go to full, immediate, and permanent expensing. What you would like to see is full and immediate, temporary full expensing. So you get a full expensing for three or four years, take you past two elections. And then, as with the R&D tax credit, which used to get extended every few years, I think you'd see that become permanent, but it wouldn't necessarily be permanent in the original bill. We now have 50 percent expensing. We would go to full 100 for several years. Everyone agrees, the House, Senate, White House, to get rid of the death tax. It's already a shell of its former self because of previous reductions. Getting rid of the alternative minimum tax. That's something that all the Republicans. Crover, let me uh, ask you. You mentioned on. that there's unanimity here among Republicans that they want to cut taxes. What do you make of the suggestion from Steve Bannon, the White House advisor, that there be a 44 percent tax on Americans earning five million dollars uh, sure. or more? Okay, I was pleased that I finally have a visual for my for the expression "a dead cat bounce." That was an idea that was thrown out, and nobody, nobody said interesting. Nobody said good idea, but nobody said interesting. Uh, so it's, it's a fascinating idea. It's only been tried 3,000 times uh, in recent history. Uh, and the reason you have high tax rates proposed or in reality is to convince the middle class not to mind when you screw them. So the point of bringing down the tax rate is to make it easier to cut everybody's taxes. High marginal tax rates are not just paid by the Kennedy kids. They're used to convince everybody else that you don't mind 10, 20, 30 percent rates on yourself. So it was a bad idea. It was received by Republicans and everybody looking as a complete non-starter. We can now move forward.